Are we authentic missionary disciples? This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. The three important identities of a Catholic Christian are he is a follower of Christ, his calling, and the gifts he receives from God. In this reflection, let me focus on the third, which was how our gospel reading today ended. And I read, If you then who are wicked know how to give good gifts, how much more will the Father in heaven Give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him. And we know from our teaching on charismatic gifts that what the Holy Spirit gives to us is for the upbuilding of the church and will help us on our way to holiness. I remember an anecdote I read in a travel magazine about identity. There was a flight that was overbooked and canceled. The passengers quickly lined up in the check-in counter to get into another flight. There was only one lady attending to the many passengers, and irritation was all over the place. One man came up and demanded that he be attended to first. The clerk politely replied, Sir, please take your place in the line. And the man answered, Don't you know who I am? And the lady simply got her megaphone and said in a loud voice, There is a man here who do not know who he is. Can someone come up and please identify him? And the man sheepishly went back to the end of the night. This amusing story tells us of the contrast between today's worldview and God's perspective. For the world, it is power, authority, and self-entitlement. But for God, it is humility, servanthood, and obedience. Hence, we really need to ask the Holy Spirit for the gifts to enable us to seek holiness and help build up the church and our community. Pope Francis said that gifts are freely distributed by the Holy Spirit so that sacramental grace may be fruitful in Christian life in different ways and at every level. In this way, they themselves become a gift of love for others and authentic witnesses to the gospel before all mankind. Lumen Gentium number 12 also reminds us, these charisms, whether they be the more outstanding or the more simple and widely diffused, are to be received with thanksgiving and consolation. For they are perfectly suited to and useful for the needs of the church. My dear brothers and sisters, may we all receive a fresh outpouring of the Holy Spirit that our true identity as missionary disciples may help build and strengthen our church and community. And let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, may you sanctify us with your grace, and that your gifts of love through the Holy Spirit enable us to be witnesses to the ends of the earth. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God bless your families. May God bless our Catholic faith 
and cop of spread rice.